Welcome YouTube. Today we'll be doing a setup video for the Cronus Max Pro. Today we'll be setting up the Cronus Max Pro for a mouse and keyboard on the PS4 and Xbox One for any first person shooter. The first thing we're going to do is go to the website and download the software. After we have the software downloaded and installed, we're going to go to the properties and set it to run as an administrator. Now this is important because once you add the add-on, the add-on will not work unless you're running it as an administrator. Now that we have that taken care of, we're going to open up the Cronus Max software, go to tools, we're going to update the firmware and update the Cronus Max itself. After we have finished updating it, we're going to go to add-ons or plugins. And in plugins, we're going to add XAIM. Now that we have that taken care of, we're going to open XAIM, go to files, and create a new layout. Under new layout, there will be multiple options, but for PS4, I prefer using the Pro Setup because most of the settings are already done for you, for the most part. This is my personal settings. I find these to be perfect for me. I play with a Corsair Scimitar and I run it at 400 DPI. I found running it at higher DPI tends to make it a little skippy. Running it at 400 seems to be the smoothest. Now on to the game. For Overwatch in particular, the settings in game are extremely important. We're going to go down to controls. We're going to go and take our vertical and horizontal sensitivity all the way to 100. After that, we're going to go to advanced. And we're going to change from dual zone to exponential ramp. That's going to make the biggest difference. After you have that taken care of, you're pretty much good to go. Now head on over to quick play and try the settings out. If you find that they're too fast or too slow, you have to back out and go to the Cronus Max menu and adjust the sensitivity there. You don't adjust it with the actual in-game sensitivity. One other important note is to make sure the DPI on your mouse actually matches the DPI in the settings window.